What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. More reprobate behavior. More treasonistic behavior, should I say. Says teens shaken after fellow student attacks older female teacher. That's somebody's grandmother. Just gets worse, don't it? Let's get into the story. A substitute teacher in Detroit has been hospitalized after a student viciously attacked her because she informed the administration he had brought drugs to school. And the aftermath, aftermath was captured on cell phone video. This is actually just a photo right here. I haven't, I haven't seen a video. Uh, the teacher who was hospitalized on Thursday is in stable condition and expected to recover. She was supposed to tell the, the, the faculty what this motherfucker did. She was supposed to tell that he brung drugs to school. You're not there to use drugs. You're there to learn. This is a damn shame. According to Fox 2, the teacher who was serving as a substitute at Cody High School is old enough to be the student's grandmother. That's a damn shame, man. What kind of name is this? Keontae Nelson, a student, told the outlet that the incident occurred at 1030 a.m. during a math class. The male student walked into the classroom and started punching the woman. I was doing my work and I just looked up and she was on the floor shaking and stuff said Nelson, like her head was messed up. That's fucked up. It, it, you know, at least a student should have got up and did something. And being the fact that, the fact of the matter that she reported that this motherfucker was, had brung drugs to school, what was he doing back in the school? He should have been put out of the school. Matter of fact, the police should have been called on him. Yeah, the police should have been called on him and got his ass. See, the, a motherfucker like this, I won't ride for I won't ride for it if he shot down in the street. See, we don't need this kind of reprobate motherfucker in our society, in our community. We don't need that. He's beating our elderly, our elderly grandmothers. He got to go too. He ran up on the old lady, hit her, pushed her on the ground, and hit her again. Brandon Antisadel. Ant a fellow student said, that's not something anybody should do, especially to an old lady. Damn right. Nel Nelson Antisadel and another student, John O'Neill, were outraged by the attack and ran after the student. Y'all should have beat his ass. My friend Keontae and my man John, we all felt offended by it because that's somebody's grandmama, Antisadel said. So he ran out and we chased him down. It wasn't no good if y'all ain't beat his ass. Y'all should beat the fuck out of him for doing that. The Detroit Public Schools Community District says it's terribly disappointed in the student. The student was placed under arrest and will not be returning to the school. You can't blame him. I won't want his ass in my school. And matter of fact, I hope when them, them, them kids caught his ass, they beat his motherfucking ass for doing something like that to an elderly woman. An elderly woman. What kind of shit is this? They don't care. They do not care. They ain't got no love for you. See, these are these little agents of white wannabe supremacy right here that our community do not need they don't need this kind of these this kind of element in our community. Matter of fact, they need to be purged out. They need to be purged out. We don't need this shit. And then damn right that's somebody's grandmother. I hope her children, her grandchildren, find his ass and do the same thing to him that he did to her. 
Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be back at you later.